Hi guys, thanks for clicking play. Welcome to episode 14 of Bringing Back Brum. Today it is another fixture that affects the playoff picture in the championship. We are off to Ashton Gate to take on Bristol City. We've got a couple of results to run through after the intro. So after the game with Hull City, we welcomed Ipswich Town to St Andrews and it finished one apiece. Isaac Fussell put us in front just inside the start of the second half before the stoppage time curse struck again. Cole Skews with the equaliser for Ipswich Town. On the balance of play, it was probably no more than both teams deserved a point apiece, but it was still disappointing to concede late on yet again. We then travelled to the Macron Stadium to take on Bolton Wanderers. James Wilson put us two up at half-time before George Williams pulled one back. Aidan Flint put us 3-1 ahead before George Williams pulled one back again. Thankfully, Bolton didn't find an equaliser and we went out 3-2 winners. Then we welcomed bottom club Burton to St Andrews. After a samey first half, we've... Plenty of shots, but not much on target from our perspective. We did register in the second half. Jax Magoma with the goal for us, only for Sean Scannell to equalise with seven minutes to play to send the 731 Burton Albion fans home happy, and us not so much. Two bits of news from the medical centre. All not good. Sam Gallagher is out for up to seven days with a pulled ankle ligament, so we'll miss today's game against Bristol City. Jota will definitely miss today's game. A broken lower leg, so he's seeing a specialist about it, but will out for up to five months, so he will miss the remainder of the season and probably the start of next as well. So after all that, that brings us here. So we're currently sixth in the table on 66 points. Today's opponents, Bristol City, are a point behind us. It's probably between us, Bristol City, Hull, Ipswich, maybe for the last playoff plate, so maybe Norwich as well. They're only five points behind with five games left to play, so it is very, very tight for that last playoff spot. One to watch. And today's one to watch is Nicholas Eliasson. 22-year-old Swedish international has spent all of his career in Sweden, bar this year when he moved to Bristol City. Stats that stand out, acceleration... Crossing, dribbling, pace, he's very quick. Can play the right-hand side of the attacking midfield and the left. Can also play right-hand side and left-hand side of midfield. The stats make good reading for him in terms of his assists and his goals in the championship. Overall, he has 10 goals and 12 assists, with 7 of those coming in the championship and 10 assists as well. So if we're going to beat Bristol City today... We're going to have to stop the supplier that Eliasson can give them. So, taking a look at the match centre. We haven't beaten Bristol City this season in two attempts. Lost them in the league and lost them in the FA Cup as well. 4-6 to six we are on, though, to win today. Strong recent form of three wins in five. Bristol City, two wins in five. Obviously, this have massive ramifications for the playoffs. A win today would take us almost there. A defeat is unthinkable. So let's take a look at both teams, starting with our hosts. So they start with Frank Fielding in goal. Pisano, Wright, Magnuson, Wiggins, Pack, Smith, Eliasson, Reed, O'Dowder with Woodrow up front. We start with Kuchak in goal. Colin a back two pairing of Harley Dean and Mark Roberts. Aidan Flint is ineligible because he's playing against his parent club. Jonathan Grounds, Davis, Keeftonville, Adams, Baxter... Mahoma with James Wilson up front. So this result really does matter. We need to keep the gap to Bristol City. If nothing else, can we do it? Let's find out. Into Baxter, onto Adams. Into Wilson, good shot, saved by Fielding. A doubter. Through to Bobby Reed, hit the post. And cleared. No, it's a penalty. Oh my. No, no, no. Callie Woodrow will take it. Come on, Thomas. 
make a save no deja vu because I'm pretty sure Hull scored a penalty last game wasn't this early it's 1-0 to Bristol City plays it into Reed. Woodrow O'Dowder and it's 2-0 Callum O'Dowder with the second goal and that is not what we needed don't deal with the initial free kick Ball comes back in for Magnussen. Not a lot of pressure on him. Reed. It's just too simple around the edge of the box. And Bristol City lead by two goals to nil. O'Dowder into Smith. Reed into Eliasson. Hits the post. And clear by Grounds. Grounds with the throw in. Into Baxter. Looking for Che Adams. Good shot. Good goal. Wow. That is a bullet from Che Adams. It's a good ball in from Jose Baxter, but Che Adams first time. Wow, top corner. Back in the game. Looking for Che Adams again. Gets the ball over, headed away. Baxter picks it up though. Mahoma, saved by Fielding. And that is half time. After a sluggish start, we've managed to work our way into the game, which is good. Was thinking about changes at half time before Che Adams' goal. But now, not so much. Pack with a free kick. Down the line for Wiggins. It's a clever free kick. Bobby Reed on the edge of the box. And that's 3-1 Bristol City. That's very inventive. Full credit to them there. Just draws everybody over to the ball. And they're all standing on the edge of the box. Waiting for it to be cut back. So simple. What can we do? Not a lot is the cry. Mahoma's going to come off. David Cottrell's going to come on. We're going to take off Jose Baxter. I know he's performing well. We're going to bring on Ben Brereton. We're going to go along a little bit. Colin going long, looking for Wilson. Takes control of the ball. Brent Brereton's in the box. There he is. Oh, the defender takes it away from him. Pat looking wide for Eliasson. Gets the ball over a doubter. Headed away by Colin Wiggins. Corey Smith. Pack. Eliasson. Great save. Thomas Kushak. Adams with the ball. Going long. Looking for Brereton. That's a great ball down the middle. Go on, Ben. Finish that. Oh, saved by the keeper. It's been one of them days. Denoid. Reed. Saved by Kushak. Good tackle from Keeftonville. Going long. James Wilson in a foot race. Go on, James. Oh, he's made it. Round the keeper and in the nets. The comeback is on. Route one. Very route one. From Jonathan Grounds. Held up by the defender. Wilson managed to get round him. I thought he'd made a mistake. But he got it away from the goalkeeper and in the net. We're not going to have time to get this forward. Colin looking for Davis. Adams looking for Brereton. Wilson's in loads of space. And that's a poor ball. Harley Dean clears up, but that is it. Another five minutes, I think we would have had that. But the equaliser did not come. So that, that really does hurt us. So two points outside the playoffs now. Bristol City have overtaken us. But the results elsewhere have gone okay. Apart from Ipswich winning. Hull didn't win. And Hull drew with Burton Albion, so... That doesn't take them completely out of it, but it is definitely between those four now for that last playoff place. Bristol City ourselves, Ipswich Town and Hull City. Heart-stopping stuff, but we did give ourselves far too much to do being 3-1 down. Maybe I was a little bit late with the change as well, bringing Brereton on with 20 minutes to go. If I'd have done it maybe 5-10 minutes earlier, it might have done something different. It might not have done. Bristol City might well have scored again. So he was trying to find the right balance of staying in the game, but then going for it. Last 20 minutes is normally sort of the time you push people forward, bring on another striker. So I thought I made the right call. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Did I make the right call about the change? But it's a disappointing result. Certainly not a side we wanted to lose to, particularly with them in being in such close proximity to us but if you've enjoyed today's video please leave a like 
If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so, please click the subscribe button down in the corner. Thank you to all those who have subscribed to the channel recently and old ones as well. You're all very welcome indeed. That was episode 14 of Bringing Back Brum. It didn't go our way today. Let's see if it does next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.